Hello, my name is Csaba Gombos with Global Support Services Team and now I'm going to show you how to integrate Avayaura Messaging 6.3.2 with Avaya Control Manager 7.1.2. Avaya Control Manager 7.1.2 is the first release that officially supports Avayaura Messaging 6.3.2. IAM integration in Control Manager uses the LDAP or LDAP Secure protocols. Using messaging integration, administrator can perform the following actions. Either import, add, edit or remove messaging subscribers, synchronize subscribers with LDAP directory. Perform actions on multiple subscribers, also possible with the bulk action portal. Please note that on Windows 2012 server, a Microsoft security fix must be installed on the system. Now I'm going to show you how to configure new messaging system to our ACCCM machine. Let's navigate to the configuration portal and under Unified Communication and Unified Messaging we can add the new messaging server. Alias can be any given name. Type should be Aura Messaging and version is the latest. UM Server Host is uh, the following in our case. Port we are going to use LDAP protocol without security. Username and password will be the trusted server details which are going to create now. So let's log in to the messaging server and create a trusted server. add the new trusted server. This will be the name and the password. I have to fill it again. IP address is the ACCCM IP address and we can select here if we want to use LDAP security or plain LDAP protocol. Let's save it. Trusted server just created. So username is cn equals am user dc awaya this is the distinguished name and password The database part we can leave it empty and LDAP MMID is the host name of the messaging server. Version is 2. Protocol, those are default values. Base context is also the default distinguished name for the messaging server. just like the CUS. And just click on save. Our last step is to assign this messaging server to our location. So let's navigate to CFG locations and add it to our, to our location. Let's select system type as UM and here is our new messaging system and let's just save it. Once we integrated our messaging server to the control manager we can synchronize the subscribers. Let's execute the synchronizer application. And select unified messaging and extension messaging started and confirm the save. As you can see two messaging subscribers synchronized to our location. Please make sure that for successful integration the messaging connector service must be working. After we synchronize the subscribers to the control manager 
we can check it on the ACCCM interface. So let's navigate to the ACCCM application. And under Avaya tab, we can use the subscribers. We can see here the two subscribers synchronized in our location. The final step to test our messaging integration is to create or associate a mailbox number to one of our extensions. So let's navigate to the extensions tab, pick an extension we'd like, and uh, click on the messaging button, and uh, fill out the details, password, mailbox number, numeric address, community, and save. We can go back to the subscribers part and check there as well if the mailbox number created. Here it is, and we can do the same in the messaging server. Under Reports Users, we will see our new mailbox number. Thank you for watching this video. Please send your questions and feedback to mentor at .com or find us on Twitter at Mentor. For more details or other technical information, please visit our support website at support.avaya.com.